What's going on guys? It's our Shadow and I am bringing you more Hitman. So we completed the Showstopper mission in one way or another. But we also have a holiday themed version of the Paris fashion show. So I'm going to go play through that. I've already played through it. And um, so your main objective is you're not actually going for Viktor Novikov or Dahlia, whatever the fuck her name is. You are Agent 47 sneaking through this mansion to kill two thieves that are running around and stealing shit. Now, ironically, they are named Harry and Marv, which is a reference to the Home Alone set of movies. And we need to kill them. So, why don't we see just how quickly we can do that. Yeah, okay, that's just a... So, we're going to do some planning. Um, we're not going to need any specialty stuff. What we will need is... We are going to start with the... We're going to start in the auction. We're going to start in the auction just because it allows us to start at the very top of the mansion where we can then work our way down. And I'm going to try to do it silenced without being noticed or anything. I'm going to give it a shot. Right. So we instantly start in the auction. Knowledge without power. We don't need to be here though. What we do need I don't like this. Let's find out where our little thieves are. There's one down there, and I believe the second one will be in the basement. And yes, Santa Claus is around here somewhere. And we do have the option to kill Santa. But right now, I want to get this guy's outfit. Just so it's a little easier to sneak around the, uh, the mansion. Um, I think we can, I'm pretty sure it's a safe place to put him in here. Just drag him right behind here. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to kill Santa, but I'm going to try. I, I've killed him once, but... It's kind of spastic the way he uh, shows up in certain places. So I think we'll just concentrate on the... Uh... Oh, shit. Alright. Looks like he's coming up here. In fact, I think I know where he's going to be heading. He's probably going to be heading up here. No, he's not. Okay. Santa Claus is poking around somewhere.
Actually, you know what? I think... Yeah, he's going to try to go upstairs. He's, he's heading towards the attic. So just... Kind of... Try to second guess him. See if I can... If I can... Get him silenced. Without anyone seeing or anyone finding his body. That'll be great. If I can't, then I'll just kill him anyway. I think he's trying to get up here. Where the fuck do you go? See, he does the exact same kind of tactics you would have to use in order to get up. Upstairs here. There he is. So I know for a fact he's going to be coming in here. Santa! Right there! See him? Yeah, he's coming up here. Now, if I'm not mistaken, he's going to try to come over this way and try to steal the saber. When he does that, I'm going to be waiting for his ass. Uh-oh. Come on, bro. Take a shot. I know what he's going for. There's a thing on the desk there. That he's trying to get. Target down. Alright, so that's him. Okay. Now we can make our way back to the, uh, the balcony. Use the drain pipe. Make it all the way down to the ground floor because I believe our second thief should be somewhere on either the second or the basement. Second floor or the basement floor. Either way, I'll find him. Yeah. Looks like he's on the first floor. Where are you going, bro? How far do you think you're gonna get? He's gonna try to steal that tank right there. But I don't want to kill him here because there's too many there's too many people around. I want to see where he's going to go. We might as well just go and rob him. Are you drinking again? Just that such a movie. It's not just Volcator. It's Volcator that's the one I got to say. Yeah. It is bad. Uh-uh. You need to get some help. You are insane. Go ahead. Take it. It's a fucking model tank. It can't be worth very much. 
But then again, who knows, right? Perfect. Both targets are down. Great work. Now head towards an exit. All right, that's the end of them. Now let's see if we can get a kill on Santa. been recorded I might, might try to do something about that as well now the one time I killed Santa he was actually here but that does not seem to be the case so I think he shows up anywhere that there's like trees like a Christmas tree or something Anyway, it doesn't really matter. The only thing I'm going to do right now is I'm going to erase the camera footage that I was ever in the building and then I'm going to escape, which should technically be uh, an unnoticed kill, like a perfect run. Something in my gut tells me that he's going to be here. If I just stand around for a little bit. Or not. Okay. What about now? You gonna show up here now? No, he's not gonna show up here. I don't know what the pattern for him to show up is, so... Right in here is the camera room. Jesus. Jeez. No harm done here. Yeah, he's coming out. Now, I'm not in the market to kill these guys, so... I just want that camera footage erased. Alright, so there's one guy in there. And the best part is, I don't even have to go out the front door or the helicopter or the boat or anything. There's an exit into the catacombs of France right on this level that was I actually wanted the guy with the t-shirt on to go not the guy who was sitting down
Alright. Tamara's footage deleted. Perfect. Not only does that delete your the footage of you being re recorded, but it also gets rid of... It also turns off all existing cameras within the building. Alright, and that's it for that. accomplished five star rating silent assassin not bad but we're not actually done in Paris yet okay so we we've just completed the holiday hoarders special Christmas level but we actually have um, a third little mission these are classified as the Saviero Savagero Savagero 6 and it is a it is a contract that basically takes place in every chapter so Paris Saperenza um Hakato Colorado and um Marrakesh each episode will have one of these guys in it. Now these guys, as far as I know, as far as I've read, they are exclusive to the PlayStation. I don't know that for sure anymore because I'm playing the Game of the Year edition, so they might have transferred these guys to the other the other platforms and whatnot. But um, yes, this is our Paris target. Now, there's only two ways to kill him, the traditional way, and there's one special way. I'm going to show you how to do the special way, which would require you to drop all the stage lights on him, killing him. Now, you've got to either pick your poison. Do you want to go for the five-star silent assassin rating, which I've gotten, or do you want to go for the lights out on a promising career option? Which I've also gotten. The only thing is, if you go for this, you can get five. You can get five star rating, like a a five a five hitman logo rating with a silent assassin. Or, but I should add that this silent assassin can take pretty long, whereas this one is extremely short and. But you will never get a 5 star rating on it. It's impossible. So uh, for the sake of time I'm just going to show you the lights out on the promising career. But give you a little insight on what you would have to do for the silent assassin. Alright so before we actually go into this mission. I'm going to let Diana the narrator of the game give us a little bit of a briefing on what the Saviero 6 are. The agency has been contracted to eliminate six individuals guilty of committing brutal war crimes during the siege of Sarajevo. As private military contractors for the Cicada Corporation, they are linked with mass killings of civilians, particularly the massacres at Markel and the extended sniper campaign. The notorious Sarajevo Six have managed to avoid the International Criminal Tribunal since the mid-1990s. Our client would now like an alternative fate to catch up with them. Opportunities for elimination will appear over the coming year in multiple locations across the globe. Your first target is Scott Sarno, Director of European Operations for Cicada. Sarno is rarely without a full military backup, so his attendance at the Sanguine Fashion Show will provide multiple opportunities to eliminate the target in a lower than normal security setting.
Our client will provide full intelligence on the first target, March 11th. The agency will notify you as soon as the exact location of the remaining targets is ascertained. These targets are lethal, observant, and highly trained, but nothing you can't handle. Good luck, 47. Okay, so to begin, we are going to go into our planning section and we are going to go to... We're, you'll always start at the red carpet, but you want to actually go to the stylist undercover in the dressing room. This is going to help you out a lot. Um, another thing, you're going to want to take a, put away your fiber wire your piano wire and you want to use the ICA remote explosive not the prime proximity explosive because the proximity explosive is something that needs something like a person to be in close range for it to go off uh, the remote breaching charge I don't think is powerful enough for what we need so we're gonna go with the remote the ICA remote explosive which actually allows you to detonate detonate it from far off so we're gonna need that you can bring your coins or anything else you want truthfully you're not gonna need anything else just your just what you see here so now we are safe to begin all right so here we are in the dressing room we're disguised as a stylist welcome to Paris 47 so right off the bat, you want to come back here year, and pick up this coin or use one of the three coins you have because we want this guy right here to be out of commission. So come back behind this uh, diorama and put the coin in the diorama. This will piss him off. Okay, so now he's all stressed out, so he's gonna go have a glass of champagne. We didn't drug the champagne, as you saw. So we'll just let him drink that. And after this, he's gonna... He's gonna look for... His cigarettes. And we're just gonna choke him out. We're not gonna kill him or anything. And throw him in the box. Now the reason we need him out of commission is because with him out of not showing up hey, I'm here. Victor Novikov has no one to go on stage with him after the show. So he's going to actually get he's going to get the the director to go on stage with him and that's our our primary person to kill. So we're going to use this drain pipe and go all the way up to the balcony on the top floor where they're holding the auction. Now you don't really need to do anything with the auction. You don't need to kill Viktor Novikov or the the other woman. What we really need to do is we need access to one of um, Margola's we need access to Margola's bathroom, so I'm going to kill him. We're going to take his disguise. Walk right through because we blend in with everybody up here. And go right into here. We'll go into the bathroom. Make sure the door is closed. Then we're going to vault over the ledge here and shimmy our way across onto the state the lighting above the stage as you can see he's still up there now the thing about him is if you don't knock that guy out he's gonna go from that area there to the basement where the cameras are and then all the way back up and you're never gonna get a chance to really kill him 
So we're going to use our remote explosive. Just throw it right there. Put away the detonator because you don't want people to see that and you don't want to accidentally set it off while you're on top or at least until he's on the stage. Then after we've done that we're going to go right back to the bathroom. And we're going to go right back out the balcony. Now considering more people will see us, will be able to see through our disguise on the first floor, if we're wearing the suit, we're going to switch back to our um, stylist costume. Go right back over the ledge of the balcony and down the drain pipe. And now that we're on the first floor, nobody will actually suspect us of anything. So now all we have to do is wait for him to take the stage with Viktor Novikov after the show. And you'll notice when the you'll know when the the end of the show is is happening because all the lights above it will turn red signifying it's the end of the show. So now we just have to wait. Because remember the guy that we knocked out in the at the first part, he was originally supposed to take the stage with Viktor Novikov, but since he is out of commission, the director actually has to go on stage with him. And I did mention earlier that it's impossible to get a 5 star rating on this, and you're going to see exactly why. So now Viktor Novikov is on stage, there's the director. This is our chance to detonate. And he's dead. Now, as everyone is scrambling to get out, you do the exact same. And that's exactly why it's impossible to get a 5 star rating on that challenge. Because you're dropping thousands of pounds of glass on a crowded room from a high, high up. More than one person's bound to be killed. But that's the special way to kill him. And I'm going to give you a brief... A brief uh, countdown, or brief explanation on how to kill him without having to kill anyone and try to get a five star rating. See that was a one one star rating not very good because we killed like 20 people in that explosion. But we're gonna go replan it again. Okay so now for the silent kill we are gonna require nothing but um, we are going to start in the locker room, I'll say. No. No, because we want to try to get... We're just going to go red carpet with our tuxedo. We don't really need this. So... Uh, it doesn't really matter. We, c we can just bring it. We won't use it, but we'll bring it. So, here we go. Welcome to Paris, 47. Sorry. The Palais de Valesca is hosting the fashion event of the year. And your Start off on the red carpet. Make your way to the basement. Victor Novikov. Security is high, and the target is likely to be highly suspicious of anything out of the ordinary. He's also sure to know each member of his team personally, so be careful when approaching him. Mm -hmm. Okay, now you gotta be careful because there's a guy who run who walks down here. He's actually gonna go into that door over there, and we're never gonna have to worry about him again. Okay, let's 
It's good to have a lot of throwing items. Okay, I guess he didn't hear that. Alright, here he goes. So he's going to go down the hall and investigate the wrench. When he does, we are going to grab him and choke him out. This is the police. Is anyone there? There we go. So we are going to go all the way down here. Oh fuck. Okay, don't grab the fire hydrant, or fire extinguisher. Bring him over here, and we're going to drop him in the box. Now, he, our target is still upstairs. Just drop that there so that they have something to look at. They see the wrench or the the gun. They'll investigate it. Or not. Fuck. Okay, we'll try coins instead. Absolutely not, huh? What the fuck? Oh, they heard that. Huh? Alright, now there's another guy coming in. You serious? Oh my god, what the fuck? Now he's going to come out, investigate the coin. Say what? And he's down. Just keep an eye on your target because now he is on his way down to the basement. Which is going to cause a little bit of a problem for me because I still got two more fuckers in that room. And I don't want four people in that room. Shit. Okay, I don't know what's going on with these two guys. Alright. He's still on his way down. Fuck off. Well, whatever. He saw me. I'll quickly get rid of this guy as well.
Come on, you bitch. Ragdoll bitch. Let's go. Now, just because we're in a little bit of a rush, we are going to throw him right out here. Should be relatively safe. Nobody should see him. Take one more sweep. Make sure we didn't miss a weapon. No. No weapons missed. All right. Okay. So he's there. He's got a bodyguard with him. The bodyguard's going to wait on the inside of the door by that fire extinguisher. You can kind of see there in the distance by the server. He's going to wait there while this other guy goes around and does whatever he does. So what we're going to do is we're going to open this door. Throw a coin. Which he doesn't fucking hear because everyone's deaf. Alright. There he goes. Um, hmm. Yeah, it's nothing. Okay, he's knocked out. His guard's knocked out. Snap Target his neck, eliminated. whatever. The money has been wired to your account. And that's one of the ways you can kill him. So now just sneak out through this way and we're going to go the same exit that we took with the Holiday Hoarders mission. And that's, that's it. Fairly simple. But yeah, that is it. That is pretty much everything special for the Paris level. It's five star rating right there. Look at that shit. All right, so yeah, that's it. That's everything for Paris, other than some of these, but these are absolutely nothing. Because you, you don't get nothing for them except for points towards your Paris mastery level which is already 20 out of 20 so these are just little extra challenges for me to do on my off time so yeah next time we come back we're going to Sapienza so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you again next time